Hey guys, what's up? Let's do it together again. And I'm bringing you guys a another commentary. And this one's going to be a bit more a bit more deep and thought provoking. So I really hope you enjoy it. Anyways, I'm really sorry about the past few uploads. Um I haven't been up uploading lately. It's because um I'm busy. I, as I said in uh, my second video, I'm busy every day of the week, except for Thursday, which is the day that I'm up, that I'm going to upload this. Or at least when you see this, you'll get this at some time. <laughs> okay, so um, how was your day? Oh, it was. Oh, my my day was good too. Thanks for asking. Uh, let's see. So. Um, do you know what's, I find, I find really weird how when you talk on camera, your voice just sounds really different, and I think we all get, we all have to get used to that sometime. <laughs> so, I've been singing for, like, let's see, seven years, and I always get pretty nervous, right? And, like, today in, in, mu in my music class, we had to, we had to sing a song with my group, and I, I, we were singing Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. And man, it's it's so nervous. It's just so awkward to hear your voice, and it's crazy. Anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about today was how to how to properly take care of a child. And I know that most of my uh, most of my audience here is going to be um is going to be um, teenagers, but it's still interesting to hear because um when well, I don't want to make the the same mistakes that that you do, right? I mean. That or that your parents did. Like I've on Woody on Woody Gamer on Woody's Gamer Tags Mail Monday, he like some people are afraid of, of making mistakes that their parents have made because maybe they're broke or they can't afford a home, right? And I don't think any child deserves to be um to be treated like that. So anyways, um I I've been reading a few articles on the Globe and Mail lately and Apparently, this woman bought a six point five million dollar Manhattan apartment for her two year old daughter, and that's crazy so she this mother this chinese mother i don't know why I wanted to include Chinese, but she wanted this child to go to Columbia or n y u or Harvard, which is in Boston which I don't know why they would do that, but whatever and apparently. Um, she really wants her daughter to go there, so she bought this girl this apartment so that she could live in, or w like when she get when she comes of age, I guess. It doesn't say, but it's a ninety ninety story building. That's crazy, c c c c c c crazy good, crazy crazy. Yeah, can you? Okay, what? So, what are your thoughts on that? I'd like to I'd like to know, cause man, that's. A, a lot of money. I mean, <laughs> in high school, we're always stressing, stressing about, oh man, do you have two dollars I can borrow? While in the real world, we're just like, oh my gosh, I need ten thousand dollars. Oh man, sorry, I, I I'm playing a different search and destroy game right now. It's cr it's insane. Okay, yeah, but yeah, it's cr it's crazy how we just always think of like how us as people, we always make um problems of a b of small things when really they're not a big deal at all okay so that's one of the articles i read and um there's this joke um there's the uh, there's a fake article site called the onion which they make parodies and just jokes out of stuff and it really caught a lot of parents attentions because in the title it said all parenting styles are wrong, right? So I'm I'm reading an article that's a response to the message, and it says that um, research sto shows that every st style of parenting causes ch children to grow into profoundly unhappy adults. Um, yeah, profoundly adults. According to the study released by the California Parenting Institute, a balanced approach is no better than o overproductive, overprotective, sorry, or permissive parenting styles. That's that. <laughs> I don't know. Now there there's a debate that's been going on for a long time about whether to be overprotective or or permissive because I know 
some people in my life that have very strict parents. I mean, like, monitoring everything they do. And then there's permissive parents that, that let, let their kids kids go hog wild, as Taylor or X Capone would say. Which is, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, what, what do you think is a better parenting style? Being a permissive guy, um, permissive guy, overprotective parent? Um, I, I'd love to, I'd like to know, so leave a comment of what you, of what you think. From my opinion, um, I, I, I thought to myself, can you imagine teaching your child how to ride a bike? Okay, so first you'd have to attach training wheels, place, physically place the child on the seat because maybe the child's not old enough or they don't know how to do it, right? So, um, then you'd teach the child how to pedal and brake. And then later on in the child's biking tutorials, I'd I'd eventually have to take off the training wheels because, like, everyone doesn't bike with training wheels on. And then you would have to let go of the child. So I thought that was a g good com analogy or comparison. Yeah. So just I, I looked through, like, four articles, I think. But apparently, aggressive children aren't born that way, as a, as a study finds. Toddlers who are persistently aggressive, defiant and explosive aren't born that way. A new longitudinal study says that they're made that way by negative parenting. Now, I, um, I, w I want to know, like, in terms of negative parenting, have you, have you, have, has your family ever had, had to deal with negative parenting? Negative parenting is, I think it happens at, at any time in their lifetime. I mean, we're not, we're not going to be always perfect. We're not always going to please our, please your parents. And if you do, then, Hats off to you, but it's. I find it really hard to to do what you love, and some. And I'm I'm facing an inner conflict right now in that in my life, where would you rather follow your dreams, and knowing that knowing that the job you want to get is not financially stable, or would you not follow your dreams and then, but but be financially stable? So. Uh yeah, I'm I'm really curious to see as to what you guys think because. I had an English project about about this, and it's really come really come close to to what I'm doing in in real life right now. For example, I'm I'm an I'm a I'm an I'm an aspiring musician, right? I play piano, trombone, tuba, but I wanna I also wanna find a minor to to teach because I'm I'm piano is my major, right? And I need to find something to teach in if I'm because Piano teaching is not is not the best job to do, because it it's not the best financially stable job. And I know that some people say yes and some people say no. But like, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, just going to read a bit more. Before the study, we thought it was likely the combination of different of difficult infant temperament and negative parenting that put parent child pairs most at risk for conflict in the toddler period and then put the child at risk for conduct problems at school age so oh by the way i'm getting all these article um references from the globe and mail so yeah so this commentary is going to close soon so leave me your thoughts and opinions and yeah let me know how is it going Just a sec. I'm currently playing a game right now. Of searching the shore. Yeah. So yeah, this commentary is gonna come to a close. Thanks for watching and um, make sure to leave a like and a favorite if you if you thought it was great. Subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter at Let's Do It YT. Thanks and see you see you guys later.